Now today we'll discuss about the conversion. Conversion of number system. Basically, uh, on the basis of various types of number system, we will discuss karenge yahan par total 12 conversion and all the conversion are reversible. That means first we discuss about the decimal to binary. And in this particular case, binary to decimal is also there. Means once we convert decimal into binary, and after that, for to check the answer, we just convert that binary into decimal also. So decimal to binary, then decimal to octal, decimal to hexadecimal, then there is binary to octal, binary to hexadecimal, and finally octal to hexadecimal. Now out of this six, that means total 12 conversion, the first three, is, uh, there is some common features in first three conversion. Like whenever we are doing conversion in between decimal to binary, decimal to octal, and decimal to hexadecimal, then we have to deal two segments, and that is the common. So one by one, first we discuss first decimal to binary. In this, there are two conversion. First one is the decimal to binary, and the second one is binary to decimal. Now, and there is a rule whenever we are converting decimal into binary, then we have to deal two sections. One is the integral part and another one is the fractional part. So there is a rule for integral part that is the rule is we have to divide for integral part divide the decimal from the base of binary that is 2 and uh, we just keep the remainder and continue with the quotient. In fractional part, we just multiply the decimal value with the base of binary that is 2. Now first we discuss decimal into binary we just take one example like 25.25 decimal and just convert it into binary now here two part is there integral part holds 25 and in the fractional part also hold 25 so first we complete the integral part we just divide 25 with the base of binary 2 percent remainder is written here six zero Let's stop the process for fractional part now point two five we just multiply this point two five with two result is zero point five zero we keep the int integral part and continue with the multiplication अब यहाँ पर जो multiplication आपका है there is two case in which uh, we discontinue the particular process of multiplication either uh, the decimal uh, fractional part is completely zero or there is some repetition repetition of the particular fractional part 
तो अगर जीरो आ गया तो वी स्टॉप द प्रोसेस एंड वी विल गेट द रिजल्ट तो हियर द फाइनल रिजल्ट इज वन वन जीरो जीरो वन पॉइंट जीरो वन दिस इज द बैनर फॉर दिस डेसिमल नाउ वी कैन टेक द सेम फॉर द सेकेंड कन्वर्जन वेयर वी कन्वर्ट दिस binary into decimal so that is the second conversion binary to decimal into in binary to decimal the process is we just start from left to right and continue till the particular value after decimal one into after one how many digits are there we just see there are total five digit uh, four digits so we just use the base of binary and put the exponent uh, according to the digits available after this digit so 4 then 3 after decimal the power decrease and we see This is sixteen, eight, zero, one, zero, one by four. That is twenty-five. Finally, we'll have twenty-five point two five decimal. So that means in we reach the same value. Decimal se binary convert करने में जो value था वही value. Now in the next three conversion that is decimal to octal which consist of decimal to octal and then octal to decimal here also the same uh, rules applied that means we just take one example same example and here we convert this decimal into octal form now see here the base of octal is 8 so we divide this number by the base of octal and the same for uh, fractional part we just multiply this fractional part with 2 uh, with 8 then the result is 2.00 so here we stop the process and the final result is 31.2 octal or octal to decimal we just use the same example here we take octal and convert this into decimal now the process of this conversion is here the power is raised to the particular base 8 of octal number system 8 then 1 The result is twenty five plus point two five. That is twenty five point two five decimal. Now the third one is similar to the first and second. Only the base will be changed. So in case of decimal two hexa decimal again we have. Two segment decimal, two hexa decimal, and for the hexa decimal two decimal. We will continue this particular topic in next class.